Good day to everyone. We are going to do the grade 12 formal assessment. The topic for this is electricity and magnetism. The aim is to determine the internal resistance of the battery. We have part one and part two. Part one, we are going to determine the internal resistance. Then on part two, let's check part two. In part two, we have, this is part two, we have parallel resistors, parallel and series. We have this one, this one is on series, this one is a parallel connection. Let's go back to part one. On part one, we have these apparatus that we need to use, that is voltmeter, meter, the battery, the rheostat, the connecting wire, and there must be a switch. Then this one is the second diagram that has the voltmeter across the battery. Then we have the ammeter, here is the switch, then we have here the rheostat, okay? So let's go straight to the experiment. We are going to take the reading. I'm going to draw the table that will have the potential difference, electric current, as well as a resistance. Because there is this rheostat that will change the resistance in this circuit, the external resistance. So the tape must have the resistance, the potential difference, and the current. Then after taking the readings, you are going to answer the questions. Like in part one, uh, identify independent variable, dependent variable, and a controlled variable. Then you answer the questions. You are going to draw a graph of voltmeter reading and ammeter reading. We are going to use the FET simulations to take the readings. Let's go to the FET. This is our FET. This is the part one. Here is the ammeter that will read your current. Then we have the voltmeter across the battery. Now it reads 9.00. Then we have a switch that is open here. Then we have this resistor. It's a rheostat because we are going to change the resistance here. This is our rheostat. The reading, in fact, we have 10 ohms here. Then here we have 9 volts. Then we have a current which is 0. Because the switch is still open. Now let's close the switch, then take the readings. If we, because the switch is still open. Now let's close the switch and take the readings. The switch now is closed. The resistance is 10 ohms. The reading on voltmeter is 8,18 volts. Then the reading on ammeter, that is the current, is 0 0.82. 10 ohms, 8,18, 0 0.82 amperes. Now let's adjust the rheostat. Let's increase the resistance to 20. The resistance now is 20. The reading on voltmeter is 8,57 volts. The reading on ammeter is 0 0,43 amperes. The reading is 20. The resistance is 20. The reading on voltmeter is 8,57. The reading on ammeter is 0 0.43 amperes. Let's adjust the, uh, the rheostat so that the resistance will be 30. 
The resistance now is 80 ohms. Uh, the voltage, the reading on voltmeter is 8,71 volts. The reading on ammeter is 0 0,29 amperes. The reading or the resistance is 30. The reading on voltmeter is 8,71 volts. The reading on ammeter is 0 0,29 amperes. Let's adjust to 40. The resistance now is 40 ohms, that is external resistance. The reading on voltmeter is 8,78 volts. The reading on ammeter is 0 0,22 amperes. <coughs> the external resistance is 40. The reading on voltage, voltmeter is 8,7. 8 volts. The current, that is the reading on ammeter is 0 0.22. Let's adjust to 50. The reading or the resistance, that is external resistance, is 50. The reading on voltmeter is 8,82 volts. The current is 0 0.18 amperes. Resistance is 50 reading on voltmeter 8,82 volts reading on ammeter it's a 0 0,18 amperes let's adjust to 60 the reading or the resistance is 60 now the rating on voltmeter is 8,85 the reading on ammeter is 0 0.15 resistance 60 reading on voltmeter 8.85 reading on ammeter is 0 0.15 amperes lastly 70 the resistance now is 70 the the voltage is 8.87 the current is 0 0.13 amperes. Then we're done for this one. Let's go to part two. The apparatus for the second part, that is part two, we need three fixed resistors with known value. That is not too high value. So we'll use 10, 10, 10 ohms in each resistor there. Then we need the voltmeters, we need ammeters, the battery, then the switch must also be there. We are going to assemble our circuit diagram such that two resistors must be parallel to each other. Then this one will be negative. Okay. Okay. Now let's assemble it. So we have the battery with 9 volts, then we have the ammeter, now 0 amperes, then we have this resistor, this is R1, R1 has 10 ohms, then we have R2, R2 have 10 ohms, R3, R3 have 10 ohms, okay, now let's close the switch, when we close the switch, the reading on voltmeter is 8,44. The reading on ammeter is 0 0,56. So we have R2, which is parallel to R3. Then this one is a series, which means you are going to calculate the total resistance here. Then you use you are going to calculate the total resistance by using parallel and series. You get the total resistance, or you can use uh, this 8,44 and this 0 0,56. Then the experiment is done. That is part two. We just measure the reading on voltmeter when the bed when the switch is closed, and the reading on ammeter 
when the switch is closed then here we have 10 ohms 10 ohms 10 ohms okay that is part number two you are going to answer the question don't forget that when you calculate the gradient you use y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that is the gradient when you draw the graph we draw a linear graph that is the line of the best fit we draw the line of the best fit on the points that is on your Cartesian beam or on your graph okay So if we can look on um, interpretation and discussion of results from the reading obtained in your experiment determine the equivalent resistance of the circuit which means you are going to use the reading on the experiment if you can look here these are the readings with the voltage and the current there then this is the voltage and the current this is the reading on voltmeter this is the reading on ammeter we are going to use the readings to answer that question the next question by using the value of r1 which is 10 r2 which is 10 r3 which is 10 calculate the theoretical value of the equivalent resistance then you are going to answer that question thank you